wrote it. Let's take a look at this coil now. I didn't get a spark that I could see. So, and you know, it just looks like your typical coil. I got a little oil on it from trying to get it off. Um, you know, it's a typical rusty coil. So let's see what we get out of it. <clears throat> and uh, we'll just zero the meter. It's not really necessary to do, but it's good to check your the condition of everything. And I'll use the alligator clip there, and now we're going to go someplace where... Okay, now I want you to see this. So we're going to go to the metal where if we can get it, and then to here. Okay. And <clears throat> I want you to look at the meter. So let me see if I can get you in. All right, now we're going to go to wherever I can find good metal, clean metal. Okay. 7.25k. 9. Point something k. Just by moving it around a little bit, different places, because it's pretty dirty. All right, here's another spot, 17. Now we're going to go to that tang. All right, you're 20 something. So it's all over the place. So when it does that, all right, usually it's bad. Now what can you do? Well, the first thing you can do, what I do, is I, I'll, I'll wire wheel it, and I'll, add, I'll put a little acid in the primary, because I know that's dirty. So I'll put my acid and a Q-tip in there, and I'll get this cleaned off, all right? And then we'll recheck it, because sometimes, the, that's why I always say, you know, you lubricate them, you, you oil them, because the laminates get all messed up when they get this much rust in between. And sometimes the electronics burns out from heat. But sometimes it's just bad gr grounds that it, the rust gets to it. So we're going to find out. Okay, so I got everything cleaned up. I, you know, wire wheel, acid etch, and then the, my oiling, which is, again, the two-stroke with the tranny fluid in it. And it will wipe everything down. Okay. And so we're going to test in a few different spots. All right, and this one was pretty rusty, uh, and I got the primary cleaned up real well, and I got my alligator clip in there, and so we're going to retest again. So let's just watch the meter. So I'm going to the little tang, okay, and we have 7.29 stable. Now I'm going to go to the body, which is this nice clean area here, 7.29. So we're going to retest this again on the machine later on. So now it's not freaking out going all over the place. And this is what I mean about cleaning these coils and making sure the ground the posts that it mounts to are clean and making sure the bolts are oiled and clean and so it can make a difference. They, they, these coils do burn out. There's electronics inside and that's where you're going to get your dwell. That's what acts like the points and all that and your dwell if you guys remember the old point stuff. That's where and this one says this side out, okay? So they and this is uh, cylinder side. This one will say happens to say it. This is cylinder side. Usually, too, when you mount them, the tang for the ground is underneath, and this is this side out. But still, all right. We're going to set this aside, and we're going to retest it, and it will probably work. So this is why I do it this way, all right. And this is an example of of a situation where um, you could see she was not she was not consistent, and and I didn't see any spark when I spun it earlier. All right, so we'll retest again on the machine. Yep, the spark. All right, now we're going to take the bale, release the bale, let it return forward, retest. All right, no spark. And remember, the brake is on, so no spark. All right, so we're good.